Hello. So one of the things I've been very excited about reviewing uh, recently, and it's been sat in the box in my hallway um, for the last week or so because I've had a COVID, I've been desperate to open the box and try it out, is my new robot vacuum. I'm guessing it needs charging, so I'll be able to open the box and kind of show you it. I'm guessing it'll need charging for a while before I can actually use it. But once that is charged, assuming that's what I need to do, then um, I can do a little demonstration. She says, trying to get into the box. There we go. Nobody come in and sit on the knife. That's not a good idea. Oh my goodness. And it's actually called the Trifo Lucy. How bizarre is that? Right. If I can get out of the box. Ugh. Apologies for the sound effects. Hang on, let's turn it around this way. Look, it's branded it as me. How cool is that? So Trifo, all at home. No, AI, home robot, vacuum and mop. Oh, a vacuum and mop. Even better. Lots of different languages, none of which I can read. What does it say on the back? It's quite a heavy box, really. Ooh. Right. Uh, divide and name rooms. So you can send it into a certain room. Uh, detects things are on the floor. Home security has a little camera. How clever is that? Vacuum and mop. Dual cleaning. No mess stands a chance. My efficient brushes and powerful suction easily take care of dust, crumbs and pet hair. My mop attachment leaves hard floors sparkling. Well, I've got a lot of hard floors, so that sounds brilliant. It's really heavy. Let's just get this box open. Oh, ew. Right, here we go. So I'm guessing this is the destructions. Yep, there you are, there's all the instructions. I'll have to get those in a minute. And here is it's a bit posh, isn't it? So we've got verse, you've got the wheel on the bottom. Wheels to go forward, the turning wheel. We've got a little brush attachment there. Brush in the middle, obviously. And then this is clearly the dust trap in there. It's not very, the only thing I think about these things is they're not huge dust traps, are they? For picking things up. But then I suppose if you've kind of got it going all the time, not literally all the time, well, I suppose some people do, then um, it'll keep your floors relatively clean and dust-free. Anyway, I guess. Remove before use, it says. I don't think that's removed properly. Oh, that's that bit, okay. There we go. And there's lots of buttons on the front there as well. None of which I know what they are at the moment. Um, okay, so, oh, and we've got a little attachment here. I'm just saying attachment at the moment because I don't know what any of it does. There's the filter bags. Some little strips. I'm guessing, does it charge? I guess, yes, of course it charges. It's a stupid thing to say. Let's have a look at all the bits. Yep, that's the plug charger. And what's in this bag? Oh, what's that bit? Oh, that's the charger where it sits. So it's all very nice and tight. It's very, very sleek looking, isn't it? In the black and gold. Very funky. So the plan is, the plan, oh yeah, it's got a camera. Oh, it looks as though you can, um, oh, you, okay, so it looks like you download an app and you can control it through your app and look on the camera. It's like checking in on your, your vacuum slave, isn't it? Are you doing the vacuum in? Do that bit again. You didn't do it very well. So I'm going to read the instructions now anyway. And um, 
have a proper look at it, get it all charged up, and then we will come back and have a look at how it actually operates. <laughs> 